Hi, I'm Deb Martin Downs. I'm the Chief Administrative Officer of Credit Valley Conservation Authority. So CBC had some amazing accomplishments this year and I think the biggest one was the design approvals and the initiation of construction of the Lakeview Waterfront Connection. It's a 26 hectare park on the shoreline of Lake Ontario that ultimately will provide a recreation space for residents in the area and fish and wildlife habitat for uh, the, uh, native species in the area. The second thing we, uh, we accomplished was to um, reconstruct the Bell Fountain Terrace and that is a hundred year old terrace and it actually uh, fell into the West Credit River the day we approved the contract to rebuild it. So like all old things, you peel back a few layers and we ended up with uh, a longer construction period than we thought, but it looks fantastic, it's fully accessible and it's a great vantage point for the West Credit River and people can actually get married on it or have a music festival, so it's going to be a great uh, addition to our conservation area. And the third thing is our conservation areas have exceeded uh, three quarters of a million visitations in 2016 probably due to some of the good weather we had, but, uh, but we've also been doing a huge amount of promotions and festivals to bring people out for the health and wellness benefits that our conservation areas provide for them. There's a lot of things to be proud of that CBC does, and the one thing I'm really proud of is our staff. And the staff give 100% every day, but they also give to the community, and the staff arranged for a whole variety of community uh, projects, including attending a food bank, uh, cooking lunch at Ronald McDonald House, and they raised over $4,200 for uh, Christmas families through Peel Children's Aid Society and Halton Children's Aid Society. So that really makes me proud that they feel that not only do they do a great job in the, for the environment, but they view and value the community around them. So, you know, every day I get to do some amazing things, but one of the things that I really uh, get inspired by is working with the youth that we have come to, uh, to work with us. We have a Conservation Youth Corps program that is uh, the envy of many, but it's put uh, 15,000 students uh, into the environment and to educate them and to give them opportunities to, uh, to work in the field, to work alongside staff, and to get a sense of whether that would be a career path that they might like to choose. And we've had students who've gone through that who have chosen an environmental career path. So that just inspires me immensely to see that. And alongside that, they provide all these volunteer hours along with other residents in the watershed who come out and provide countless hours, 30,000 hours of volunteer time to help us plant trees, clean up invasive species, and that inspires me every day. All I can say is that we've had an amazing year, but we can't do it without our volunteers, our partners, and uh, all the folks that help us achieve what we do. So thank you and we look forward to continuing working with you in 2017 on more projects in the Credit Watershed.